Hey guys, today I'm excited to give you my spoiler free thoughts on Queen Charlotte, a Bridgerton story. It comes to Netflix on May 4th and it is six episodes. Each one, like at the beginning, they're like an hour ish long. The last two, I think the final one's an hour and a half, and I think the fifth one is like an hour and 15 minutes. So there's a lot of content here, but it also moves very quickly, which is a very good thing. The pacing is kept up all the way throughout. From the very beginning, it is easy to be completely hooked and sucked into this story. Now, I love Queen Charlotte in Bridgerton, so I was excited to get to know a little bit more about her, learn about her, learn why she is this way, and kind of dive into her relationship with King George. And let me tell you, by the end of this, like, the final, I don't know, 10 minutes maybe? I mean, the final episode in general, but in the final 10 minutes, I was sobbing like I was a hot mess this was yesterday that I finished it and I was like okay I'm gonna wait to record until tomorrow because I looked a mess I mean mascara like it was whoo I texted my mom I was like mom you're gonna love Queen Charlotte of Bridgerton story because she loves Bridgerton too she loves a period piece just like me um probably where I got it from and I was like oh my god I'm sobbing right now like literally oh my gosh this story is so good and I love that you get to fall even more in love with Queen Charlotte and get how she is. Now here's the thing this isn't just in the past it goes back and forth between the past and the present I say of the Bridgerton story right. I mean we have Violet Bridgerton as a part of this and Lady Danbury who we've already seen as a part of this. Not only do we get to see their past we get to see them in the present as well. There's quick little mention of the Bridgerton kids very quick just kind of Violet talking about what her kids are up to and then you move along which actually has me even more excited for the next season of Bridgerton right it's like ah oh they mentioned them and they're kind of talking about them and it's exciting but then it's swept under the rug and moved along which I think is perfect because this really is Queen Charlotte's story but it's also very much Lady Danbury's story and it's very much the Tons story right you start to see how certain things evolved okay Queen Charlotte was the first of her color from from that side they said because it was split um like the two lands or whatever however they word it and so she comes in you know she's betrothed to King George literally it's to to tie the Germans and the and the English together the British together and hope for something you know um d d hope for peace I guess right and and so that's kind of how this all starts you get to meet uh Charlotte's brother and you get a lot like I said you get a lot of background on Lady Danbury who uh was one of my favorite like supporting role characters if you could even call her supporting role I guess she kind of was in Bridgerton you know and you get to learn more about her and she's intriguing and exciting and powerful and headstrong and I love that about her and then you get that Queen Charlotte, like you get to see the innocence of her and you get to see how she was molded and shaped into who she is. And you get to see her love with George and oh my gosh, their story. I was completely invested in their story from beginning to end. Every time it jumped away from them, I was excited enough. Like Lady Danbury has a very great story. You get a little bit of um, Violet Bridgerton, which really weaves into more stuff. Um, there's a long list of stuff I'm not allowed to mention from Netflix, so I'm trying to work around those. Um, but you get those two, but this really is, like I said, Queen Charlotte's story. And if you love Bridgerton, you're going to love Queen Charlotte. It's got the same phenomenal costumes and set pieces and subtle humor, and it's just such a good drama. It's so good. Um, again, from beginning to end, it's easy to binge. I watched it in a day and a half. It's six episodes, like I said, and the first few, I want to say like the first four are just about an hour. Um, but then five is definitely like an hour and 15 minutes and six is like an hour 30 or an hour 26. I think it is exactly, but you get my point. Um, and it's all used very well. There's so much. There are moments throughout that I was tearing up, but I'm telling you at the end, there's one line Oh God, I don't even want to cry right now. I can't cry right now. I've got, I've got an interview to get to, but, um, it's so powerful and it's so good. And it just, you get to see Charlotte, you get to truly see Charlotte and you get to truly see George who we haven't seen a lot of at all. And it's easy to fall in love with him and fall in love with them and fall in love with her. Um, and I just absolutely adore them together. Plus you get a little bit of uh, information about um, like her, I can't even say this. This is, it's on the do not uh, reveal list. There's a lot more people that you get to learn more about in depth, okay? Which means a lot, okay? And it's, it's really, gosh, it's so good. 
And there's so much I want to talk about, but I can't yet. It comes out on Netflix May 4th. You guys let me know if you are excited for this. And if by the time you got to this review, you've already seen Queen Charlotte or Bridgerton story, let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. I thought it was fantastic. It is, it is sexy at times. It is hot at times. Like it takes that that Bridgerton has, right? But it gives you such a powerful story. And that is what Bridgerton is all about. It's a sexy, dramatic, intense, interesting political um, drama series. And listen, this is only six episodes. It flew by. It's an easy watch. It's so good. I would love more. Although this really feels like it completes Lady, uh, Lady, <laughs> well, Lady Danbury. I would like more on Lady Danbury because I feel like there's a little something there. Um, but I, I think this completes Queen Charlotte's story so very well. Uh, as much as I would love to see more of her, her and George earlier on, I think this does a fantastic job of it and you know you get to kind of see him um and and his story and, and ah it's so good it's so good it's insane it's so good you just can't help but like love the two of them and love the two of them together and i'm gonna stop rambling but just check it out when it hits netflix be sure to give me a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on more videos like this one follow me over on instagram twitter tiktok and check me out at mamasgeeky.com thanks guys i'll see you next time